Hi everyone, I'm John Yu. I'm going to present our work on bridging model-based safety critical control and model field reinforcement learning through system identification of low dimensional linear models. So a year ago, we leveraged reinforcement learning to develop a working controller for a backpack robot Cassie. It enabled the robot to reliably check different working velocity and working height in experiments. And it also shows notable robustness when the robot is applied random perturbations. So such robustness actually creates interesting questions. That is, where does this robustness come from and whether we can formally assess the stability of such an IO-based controller? So if we take this closed close loop system as a new open loop system with commands as an input, now the input has four parts, the desired such the working velocity Vx, lateral working velocity Vy, working height Z and terminal theta. The output is the robot actual working velocity and working height. So can we find an explicit model to describe such closed loop dynamics? Although it sounds challenging, we can use traditional system identification to tackle this problem. So let's take such the working velocity as an example. The input contains the step input, the ramp input, and the chop signal, which is a swipe frequency sine wave. We can measure the robot actual VX using the MLP policy we just developed, and we can also test on different policies with different new net structures. So by looking at the input output pairs, we can obtain the system step response, the ramp response, and the frequency response. So let's take a look at how does this identification look like. The red line is the system input, the black, li black line is the robot output, and the blue line is the predicted result using these identified models. This actually shows quite good prediction accuracy. Since it happens in other dimensions, such as the lateral working velocity, working height, and turning your rate, we find that a linear model is good enough to describe the closed loop dynamics in each dimension. So since we obtained the exp explicit model, we can apply some stability analysis on it. We find that all the zero and the pools are on the left-hand plane, which means that each dimension is asymptotically stable and the minimal phase. This actually can actually give us some insights about the reason of the robustness using this IA controller. This is only a single controller. We will validate this on different IA policies. The linearity exists among all of these policies, except this one. Just using the eyeball test, you can tell the nonlinearity still exists, even when forced to fit a linear model. This is because this policy is not well trained. So the linearity can be a potential metric for the convergence of I. Moreover, we find this cutoff frequency. If the input frequency exceeds this value, the linearity is not well preserved. So this can actually be a good guidance for the control design if we want to use this closed loop system. This system has four inputs and four outputs. So we further show that this, this is decoupled under a low frequency input. So this finding is actually a big surprise because when we explicitly write down Cassie's four order dynamics, we obtain a huge file. Now, when we use an IO controller, it gives us a simple linear system. It is stable, decoupled, and the minimum phase. So this idea resembles a feedback linearization controller. So is it possible that the model free IO learns IO linearization unconsciously. So this is a very preliminary work in these directions, and there are lots of questions we cannot answer. But this is a very interesting and open questions we want to bring up to the community. Before solving this theory question, we can actually apply what we found in the safety critical task. Now we use this IO policy, and this closed loop system becomes a new open loop system, but a linear system. And we use this linear model in a higher level safety critical controller, namely the MPC with control barrier functions, to provide safety guarantee in the task where Cassie navigates in a high constraint environment. So this is a joint simulation. Cassie is using the proposed method to check, to check the global pass while avoiding obstacles nearby. When the robot see a high constraint environment, the robot will crouch down and travel underneath this space. And after the robot travels through this, it will quickly recover to a normal height and accelerates to the goal while stopping in front of the obstacles. So in conclusion, we propose a new direction to bridge the model-based op uh, optimal control and the model-free reinforcement learning by looking at the closed loop dynamics controlled by IO policy. This can combine the advantages of both sides. We let IO to wrap up the high order nonlinear dynamics and it can give us a linear model. And we can use model-based method to provide safety guarantee on top of it. And it can be more practical to use because we have a linear model. Okay, thanks. I'm happy to take questions.